To some people, a bruise can be the worst thing in the world. You can never predict when they'll happen, and they have a way of showing up when you least expect it, like before a major event. At the very least, it's an annoyance and an inconvenience because the shades of purple and blue can linger for days, which can make you feel self-conscious and cause embarrassment. And they're difficult to hide when they're on your face. And there are not too many believable excuses you can use to explain why your face is bruised. I've heard people come up with all kinds of excuses as to why they're bruised from facial injections, from I ran into a wall to I fell, but there really aren't any good believable excuses. I don't believe you. I mean, you could say you got into a fight, but then you're gonna have a hundred questions asked with people wanting to know what happened in the fight. Chances are that if you get facial injections like Botox, fillers, or Sculptra to maintain your best you, at some point you're most likely going to bruise. So I'm going to show you the best way to prevent bruising from all types of facial injections, whether you're getting Botox, Dysport, fillers, or Sculptra, so you can avoid any bruise-related embarrassment. And we also need to discuss the most common myth about bruising. One of the biggest myths about bruising from cosmetic injections is that your cosmetic provider did something wrong if they bruise you. Anytime you get facial injections, you run the risk of getting a bruise. It doesn't matter who's injecting you, what their title is, or how experienced they are. No one can ever guarantee that you won't bruise. Anytime you get injected, there's always a chance you can bruise. Even if you've previously never bruised before and even if you never bruised the first 10 times you got injected. Comment below if you've ever been to a bodies exhibit. This is from the bodies exhibit where they dissected vessels of the face from a real person. Can you appreciate how many vessels we have in our face? The face is highly vascular, which is why we heal really well on our face. We cannot see all of these vessels through your skin. So this is why we can never guarantee that you won't bruise. It's not possible to avoid all of these vessels. Every single time we inject you, you run the risk of us hitting one of these vessels. And if that happens, blood can leak out of the vessels and release contents into the skin. And this is what can cause a bruise. Which is why it's always ideal to do injections, whether it be Botox filler or Sculptra, at least two weeks before a major event. And to be on the safest side, possibly even four weeks before an event, if you're getting injected around the eyes. And this includes Botox to the crow's feet. That's part of the reason how I got this bruise here. And this is not the first time that this has happened to me either. The skin around the eyes can take a longer time to resolve bruising. Good thing for me is that I'm not that bothered by bruises from injections, so I don't follow the advice that I'm about to give you to avoid bruising. If I had followed the advice I'm about to give you, the bruise probably wouldn't be as bad. Some people can be very disturbed by bruises to their face after injections, especially if the bruises are on the central area of the face because those are way more obvious. When it comes to the type of facial injections you get, Botox and other neuromodulators like Dysport generally have less of a chance for bruising because you're going in and out of muscles. But when you're doing crow's feet, we have a lot of veins around the eyes. So sometimes if you hit a vein, it can cause a really bad bruise around the eyes, which can take a longer time to heal because the circulation isn't the best of this area. With filler and Sculptra, you're moving the needle around more. So there's a higher risk of bruising. So how can you prevent bruising from happening from injections in the first place? You can prevent bruising from injectables by doing a little planning. You can take a homeopathic treatment called Arnica Montana a few days before your appointment is scheduled. And I'm not talking about topical Arnica, which comes in a gel cream or ointment. The topical forms can be used on a bruise if you do happen to bruise after your injections. But the more effective way to prevent bruising from happening in the first place is to take Arnica pellets. Arnica is a centuries-old herbal medication remedy for treating bruises that's been used by many, including health providers, surgeons, and sports figures. Pierre Barriou, the former head fitness coach for the U.S. men's national soccer team, used Arnica pellets to treat players since 2002. Arnica's major active component, Helen Allen, is a phytochemical known for its anti-inflammatory effects. While the exact bruise treatment mechanism of Arnica is unknown, it's believed to increase blood flow circulation around the bruised tissue and... As a result, the body reabsorbs the escape fluids, thereby decreasing the amount of healing time. I can tell you as an injector, whenever I have somebody who takes Arnica pellets prior to their appointment, I can usually tell because they don't bleed as much when I'm injecting them. When I take the Arnica, there's way less bleeding, less swelling, less bruising, and overall speeds up the healing process. Do you think you're gonna bruise? No. I will have very, very minimal, if any, bruising. Comment below if you've ever heard of people taking Arnica before facial injections. 
Tell me about before you used to use Arnica and then starting to use Arnica. Did you notice a difference? Yes. When I would get injections with filler before I used Arnica, if I did not prepare with any Arnica, I would bleed a lot more. I would be way more swollen and experience bruising. If you do happen to bruise, you can continue taking Arnica pellets after because it can help your bruising resolve faster. Arnica pellets are readily available without a prescription at most health food stores. Boron, which is French, is the most widely known Arnica brand. The average retail price is just $8.49 for one tube. There's no shipping costs and no minimum purchase if you order within their site. To prevent bruising, you want to start taking the pellets ideally at least two days before your appointment. Some providers prefer you to take it three to five days before your appointment, so every provider will have their own individual recommendations on how many days they want you to start prior to injections. And the pellets are not swallowed. You let them dissolve under your tongue. If you swallow them, your digestive system will make them ineffective if swallowed. The usual recommendation is five pellets three times a day. If you're timing it, that's around every eight hours, and you can continue taking this regimen the actual day of your appointment. And if you do happen to bruise after your injections, you can continue taking the five pellets three times a day until your bruising resolves. But some cosmetic providers have different recommendations. Additionally, if you're worried about bruising, you also want to avoid taking aspirin at least one week prior to your appointment, NSAIDs such as Aleve, Advil, and Naproxen five days prior to your appointment. It's important to avoid alcohol 24 hours before your appointment. And if you're taking high dose vitamins like vitamin E, ginkgo biloba, and high dose garlic, avoid those two weeks prior to your appointment. Just a little planning goes a long way in helping you prevent the inconvenience of bruising. And if you do get a bruise, watch this video next so I can show you exactly how to cover it. It's really easy. Let me know, have you ever bruised before from injections? Are you afraid of bruising? Would you try Arnica? Or have you ever tried Arnica to prevent bruising? And if so, let us know if you feel it made a difference. No one wants a bruise, so share this video with others who get facial injections. And don't forget to watch these videos next to learn how you can look more naturally beautiful.